Rottie is a strong and muscular dog that are very recognisable worldwide. They often are misunderstood, but the Rottie is really a loving dog that with proper socialisation and training can make a beautiful family companion. You may be getting a new puppy and are not quite sure the exact things you'll need and how to prepare. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the things you'll need and how to set yourself up for success as a calm and consistent canine leader. Welcome back to the Fenrir Rottweiler Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Rottweiler. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect rotties. So, if you're a lifelong Rottweiler lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Rottweiler video. So let's jump right into today's video and find out exactly what the things that you will need for your puppy are. Firstly, just to clarify, none of the products that may get mentioned in this video have been sponsored. They're the products that we at Fenrir have tried and tested and feel confident in being some of the best out there for you and your puppy. So first and foremost, what we think is the most important thing to do before you pick up your new puppy from the breeder is to have a specific training programme ready. Here at Fenrir, we believe it's the single most important thing to do when you're preparing for any new dog, whether that be a puppy or whether it's an adult dog. The moment you pick up your new dog, that is when the training starts. Dogs are intelligent animals and pick up and learn new behaviours quickly. We want these behaviours to be positive and not any bad habits that develop further into major behavioural issues, which become that bit more difficult to train when your dog is getting to be an adult dog. This is particularly true for the Rottweiler. There are large, powerful dogs. Male Rottweilers tend to be between 24 and 27 inches at the shoulder, weighing between 95 and 130 pounds, while females tend to stand between 22 and 25 inches and weigh around 85 to 115 pounds. Rotties are large, well-proportioned and very muscular dogs. They have broad heads and very strong builds. Having a specific regime in mind and ready to implement from the second you have your pup is super important. It's so essential that you take your time to research training before bringing your dog home because the moment you pick them up, you begin training with them. And if you're unprepared and not sure how to train them, then they can easily learn bad habits, like I mentioned before. Of course, here at Fenrir, we have our perfect puppy course, which takes you from day one of having your puppy all the way to the end of the first year. It's a step-by-step -step training programme which will help you to become a calm and consistent canine leader with a perfect canine companion by your side looking to you for guidance. The next thing that you'll need to be prepared for is feeding your dog and keeping them hydrated with fresh, clean water. Depending on the breed of dog that you have, the feeding can vary. The breeder may also have recommendations for you, so do not be afraid to ask. They'll be happy to answer your questions about anything regarding your puppy. They are after the best for their pups, after all. There are many different foods and diet types that you can give your puppy, but what we recommend is that it's high quality and grain-free food that is high in the required nutrients that your dog needs and keeps them happy and healthy. Again, it's important to research into this before getting your dog and to understand how feeding a puppy is different to feeding an adult dog. Your puppy will eat more regularly than an adult dog. Most adult dogs will have two meals a day, whereas puppies tend to have a few spread throughout the day. It's essential you read packaging carefully and give your puppy the recommended amounts for their size and age. Now for beds and crates. For your puppy, we recommend from experience that you get a bed which is comfortable for them, but sturdy and well-built because puppies chew. Due to teething mostly, your puppy will want to chew and having a bed which is reliable and well-built can reduce the chances of you having to keep buying them a new one after every time they chew the last one to pieces. Be sure to get a bed that is size relevant to your dog. The Rottweiler grows into a very large adult dog, but obviously as a puppy does not need a bed that size. Some great companies are Scruffs and Tuffies for beds. Tuffies do a travel bed which is very good for large breeds as you can use it as a bed that grows with your dog due to the ability to extend it. Plus, it's very helpful for traveling. When looking for a bed for your pup, you should look for excellent quality and comfort which can be found at an affordable price. The use of puppy crates, pens and crates 
crates is under debate between different dog owners. But it's your decision at the end of the day. Crates can be incredibly helpful when training your dog when they're used in a positive way. If you use your crate negatively, like as a place of punishment, then it can make training very difficult and may cause problems for your dog, such as fear and anxiety. However, using it in a positive way can hugely benefit the training of your dog. It should be a safe and den-like place for your dog where they feel safe and secure, which will help with separation anxiety. And it also helps with toilet training your puppy. You can start with a small crate for your puppy or you can buy one that will fit them when they're an adult dog. But you will need to use dividers in one of the larger sizes, otherwise toilet training is not really possible as your pup may use one end of the crate to sleep and the other to do their business. Now for leads, collars and harnesses and all things related to walking your dog. There's a lot of debate surrounding what is the best thing to use for your dog and at what age should you use them. But through lots of research and discussion with professionals, alongside a training regime, you can find the best one for you and your pup. At Fenrir, training is command based and we want our dog to look to us, a calm, consistent leader, for guidance and with that respect. There should be a good communication to your dog and from your dog to you. You can find plenty of high quality, great leads, collars and harnesses on our website from our different ranges that are excellent for your dog. Starting training with your puppy, you'll need to get them used to having something on their neck and so begin with a simple slip lead is a great place to start. Toilet training can take a bit of time depending on your breed, but what is definitely needed is a lot of poo bags. Puppies poo a lot and you need to be prepared to pick them up. I recommend looking for biodegradable poo bags as this is a way that dog owners can look after the planet and prevent plastic bags from damaging the environment. You can begin training your puppy to go outside to the toilet straight away or you can use puppy pads which can be helpful if you're out all day. But they can sometimes cause confusion for your puppy so please please be aware of this. Toys and training aids are the next thing that you'll need to get sorted for your puppy's arrival. Certain toys can be really great for teething, training, redirecting them from chewing furniture and also providing mental stimulation as a whole. The Kong Standard is a must for having all dog owners as it's an extremely sturdy and excellent quality toy that can be great for toilet training and for combating separation anxiety. The toys that are a bit more expensive will be high quality and means that they will last much longer than cheap toys due to the materials that they're made from. Dog puzzles are pretty new to the market but they're a fantastic way to provide mental stimulation for your new dog with varying levels of difficulty that can be done with or without you around. They're fun and entertaining and a great way to combat separation anxiety. Finally, grooming products. The grooming products you get depend on the breed and the demand they have for grooming. The Rottweiler is not very demanding on the grooming side of things but will need to be brushed regularly to remove loose hairs and dirt from their coat and will need to be bathed for a proper clean at least every month. Plus, getting good quality dog shampoo that is sensitive and gentle on your dog's skin is very important. You can also get products for cleaning your dog's teeth, including toothpastes or dentist sticks. Your vet will help you with the worming and flea treatments for your puppy, and you will need to attend puppy checkups and get any outstanding vaccinations. Rotties are one of the most intelligent dog breeds and learn new things very quickly. This does mean that they can pick up bad habits easily and need a calm, consistent leader in training. They're strong-willed and need plenty of exercise and mental stimulation and it is best to begin training early as puppies. Rottweilers need to be well socialised from puppyhood and it cannot be stressed enough that their training must start as early as possible too. I highly recommend going through this channel and watching previous videos to find out even more about your new puppy and the breed in general. It's super important to be prepared and to understand the breed you're going to be bringing into your home. Be as prepared as you can be an incredible canine leader and take it seriously but also enjoy the puppy stage because they grow up very fast. I hope you enjoyed today's video if so please make sure you hit that like button get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget if you're new here make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated rotty videos coming here every week so i can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the fenrir rottweiler show